Welcome to my NFL Week 17 Picks video. I invite you to play along and post your picks in the comments section. Last week, I was both 9-7 and seven straight up and against the spread. I will try to improve this week. We start off Thursday night with the Jets traveling to Cleveland to play the Browns. Cleveland is a 7.5 point favorite and over under is 36. Cleveland with a win Thursday will clinch a playoff berth while the Jets are going to wait for Rodgers in 2024. Congratulations, Cleveland. You're going to the playoffs. Browns 24, Jets 13. Saturday night is game of the week as NFC powerhouses fight it out in an attempt to get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. As the Kings of the North, the Detroit Lions travel the big D to play the Cowboys. Dallas is a 6.5 point favorite with over under at 53.5. The Detroit Lions won the NFC North last week in Minnesota and are one of three 11 and 4 teams fighting for home field advantage. Dallas at 10 and 5 has clinched a playoff spot but with a win put themselves back in a position to host a playoff game. Dallas is undefeated and absolutely dominant at home while Detroit after winning their division for the first time in 30 years is in uncharted territory. I don't see them matching the Cowboys intensity. Dallas 34 Detroit 23. In a recent scientific study subscribers to Dan Talks Football have 269% more sex in 2024 than non-subscribers. Score big in 2024 and subscribe. Now on the Sunday's picks. New Year's Eve starts off with an NFC battle as Atlanta travels to Chicago to play the Bears. Chicago's a three-point favorite and over-under is 39. Atlanta at 7 and 8 can still make the playoffs with some help and the Bears at 6 and 9, believe it or not, are still not mathematically eliminated from from the playoffs. If Atlanta loses, they can still win the NFC South, but only if the Saints beat the Bucks. The Bears really aren't thinking playoffs, but are playing some really good football right now. I'm taking the Bears at home. Chicago 23, Atlanta 18. Next, we have San Francisco traveling cross-country to play Washington. The Commanders are a massive 13.5 point home dog with the over-under at 48.5. With San Francisco losing Monday night and traveling cross country to play an early game on the East Coast, I would normally say they will have problems, but San Francisco traveling to the East Coast for early games have not been an issue this year, beating Pittsburgh and Jacksonville by a combined score of 64-10. to Washington is playing musical quarterbacks, and even though I've always liked Brissett, this isn't a good situation for a pissed off Niners team. I like San Fran here, 49ers 34, Washington 14. Next up, we have Arizona traveling the Philly to play the Eagles. The Eagles are a nine and a half point favorite and over under is 47 and a half. Thanks to San Francisco losing Christmas night, the Eagles still have a chance for home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Arizona at three and 12 thanks to a Patriots win currently have the second overall pick in the draft and tons of draft capital. I think Philly wins comfortably here. Eagles 27, Cardinals 17. Next up is maybe the game of the week with Miami traveling to Baltimore to play the Ravens. Baltimore is a three-point favorite. Over-under is at 47. Both teams are coming off of huge wins, and these two teams have the two top spots in the AFC. Baltimore's 12-3, while Miami is 11-4. This means with a victory, Baltimore can clinch home field advantage throughout the playoffs, while if Miami wins, they can clinch home field by beating Buffalo. I just don't see Baltimore losing at home, though. Ravens clinch the one seed Sunday. Baltimore 27, Miami 23. Next up is an AFC East showdown as New England invades Buffalo. The Bills are a 12 point favorite. Nova under is 40 and a half. With Bailey Zappi as the quarterback, the Patriots have won two out of their last three, while Buffalo has won three straight and is one of the AFC's hottest teams right now. I'd love to see the Patriots pull an upset, but they just cover. I got Bills 27, Patriots 20. Next is an NFC South battle with the division title on the line as the Saints travel to Tampa to play the Bucks. Tampa Bay is a three-point favorite and over-under is 42 and a half. Tampa Bay is quietly the NFC's hottest team winning four straight and with a win Sunday would wrap up the NFC South. The Saints on the other hand would still need to let the tiebreakers play out with a win to have a chance at the title. I'm just a fan of the chaos. The Saints make this fun. New Orleans 26, Tampa 20. 
21. Next up is Carolina traveling to Jacksonville to play the Jags. Jacksonville's a six and a half point favorite. And over under is 37 and a half. Jacksonville has lost four straight and Trevor Lawrence was knocked out of last week's game against the before mentioned box. As I am making this video is believed Trevor Lawrence will play Sunday. Another number one overall pick had his best NFL game last week as Bryce Young had his first 300 yard passing game in the NFL and actually outplayed Jordan Love in a 33-30 loss to the Packers. I predict Love will play well again this week and the Panthers cover, but Jacksonville breaks the four game slide. Jags 27, Panthers 24. Next is the Rams traveling coast to coast to New York to play the Giants. New York's a six and a half point home dog and the over under is 42. The Rams are one of the hottest teams in the NFL right now winning five out of their last six while the Giants have lost two straight. The Giants played on Monday versus the Eagles while the Rams played on Thursday night. The extra four days rest will outweigh the Giants home field advantage and the cross country trip. Another issue is the Giants are playing musical quarterbacks and as I am making this video the starter is unknown. I don't think it matters either way. I like the Rams. LA 27, New York 19. Next up is an AFC matchup with playoff ramifications as the Raiders travel to Indy to play the Colts. Indy is a three point favorite and over under is 44. The Raiders played Scrooge on Christmas and thanks to a two game winning streak are still mathematically alive for the playoffs. The Colts are locked in a three way tie for the AFC South title and are currently one of five, eight and seven teams but thanks to tiebreakers hold the seven seed as I am making this video. Unfortunately with a loss the Raiders will be eliminated from any playoff hopes while the Colts stay alive. I got Indy 21, Vegas 16. For the final early game, we have an AFC South showdown with Tennessee traveling to Houston to play the Texans. Houston is a three and a half point favorite and over under is 42 and a half. Both teams should return their rookie quarterback starters for a big game for the Texans. I just mentioned how Houston is in a three way tie for the AFC South title and are one of five teams in the AFC with an 8 and 7 record. The final week of the season, the Texans will play the Colts for what I hope is a win and in game, but I see an upset here. I like the Titans in a spoiler role. Tennessee 24, Houston 22. For our first afternoon game, we have a good one with playoff ramifications as Pittsburgh travels to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Seattle's a three and a half point favorite and over under is 41 and a half. I'm aware this is the third time I've mentioned five AFC teams are eight and seven and Pittsburgh is one of them thanks to sweeping the Bengals last week. Seattle was also 8-7 thanks to back-to-back 20-17 come from behind in the fourth quarter wins. In the NFC, only two teams are 8-7 and, and both the Rams and Seahawks control their playoffs lives. Simply put, win and in. Out of all the games this week, this is the toughest one for me to pick. Pittsburgh lists pick it as questionable and I do believe he plays, but the layoff will help Seattle. I got Seahawks 24, Steelers 20. Next up is an AFC matchup again with the playoffs on the line as Cincy travels to Arrowhead to play the Chiefs. Kansas City is a 7 point favorite and over under is 44 and a half. When Burrow went down I predicted the Bengals season was over and Jake Browning then leads the Bengals to 3 straight wins. Then I jump on the Bengals bandwagon and they get blown out by Pittsburgh. The Bengals are one of 5 AFC teams with an 8 and 7 record and yes this is the last time I bring that up. The Chiefs if they won on Christmas they would have clinched the AFC West and a playoff berth, but the Chiefs have lost three out of four and have lost three straight times at Arrowhead. With a win, the Chiefs will win the AFC West and snap a three-game losing streak at Arrowhead. Chiefs kick off New Year's Eve celebrations early with a win and the AFC West title. Kansas City 27, Cincinnati 15. Next up is an old-school AFC West matchup as the Chargers travel to Denver to play the Broncos. Denver is a five-point favorite and over under is 39. Denver still has a chance for the playoffs at 7 and 8 because 5 teams are 8 and 7 in the AFC. Yes, I said it again, but that's it. The Chargers played really tough against Buffalo and I think they pulled the upset, killing the Broncos playoffs hopes Sunday. LA 21, Denver 20. We end the week on Sunday night with a good one as Green Bay travels to Minnesota to play the Vikings with the playoffs on the line. Minnesota's a 1.5 point favorite and over under is 46. Both teams
teams are 7 and 8, and while a loss doesn't mathematically knock you out of playoffs, getting in as a 8 and 9 wild card is unlikely, but getting in as a 9 and 8 wild card in the NFC is very possible this year. A win will keep you alive, a loss pretty much knocks you out. Both teams have had stretches during the season where they both look like playoff contenders, but both teams have struggled recently. The Vikings have been playing musical quarterbacks while Green Bay is stuck with Jordan Love, and Love has me believing. The Pack will advance. Green Bay 21, Minnesota 19. As someone who has been to Arrowhead over 300 times, I know how cold it can get, especially in December and January, outdoors at these stadiums. I made this video on how I stay warm at Arrowhead. If you're attending a game this winter, this video will provide some great tips on how to stay warm. Don't forget, I go live every Tuesday and Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. On the live stream, I'll push you to answer goes. Drop your picks in the comments section and I can't wait to see you again.